Welcome. This is Don Milne. I'm going to share one of the stories behind the stars. This one is the story of George R. Hutchison. George R. Hutchison was born on July 2nd, 1917 in Pennsylvania. His parents were also both born in Pennsylvania. His father worked as an interior decorator and later owned his own store. George had one younger brother who served in the Navy during the war. By 1940, George had completed four years of high school and was living at home while working as a salesman. He married his wife, Eleanor, on October 10, 1941. He enlisted in the Army and became a first lieutenant in the 17th Bombardment Squadron, 16th Bombardment Group, 20th Air Force. The 16th Bombardment Group flew the B-29B, which was specially designed for higher speed, unescorted missions. It got to Guam in March of 1945 and started bombing Japan in June. On the morning of September 2nd, 1945, Lieutenant Hutchison's plane was grounded for repairs. So he volunteered to join two other pilots and their crew to fly another B-29B on a mercy mission to drop supplies to American prisoners of war in Osaka. The flights to Japan were a long distance, so they often added a third pilot to make it easier to switch off on the flights there and back. Meanwhile, other planes from Lieutenant Hutchison's same 16th Bomb Group participated in the surrender ceremony that was signed that day. They flew over Tokyo Harbor in formation at the exact time the surrender documents were being signed on the USS Missouri. A few hours into the flight, Lieutenant Hutchison's plane developed mechanical problems, so it turned around to return to base on Guam. Once above the island, it circled the airfield for a few hours to burn off fuel, making it safer and easier to land. The landing appeared to be executed normally, but at the last moment the plane swerved and a wingtip hit a tree. The B-29 broke in half and the front part of the plane burst into flames. All those in the front section perished, including Lieutenant Hutchison. The three men in the back section survived, but one of them died of injuries a few days later. Tragically, the war was officially over when Hutchison died. Had he decided to go with the planes and participated in the surrender ceremony instead of the POW mercy mission or just stayed on base? since his plane was not scheduled to fly that day, he would have survived to come home to his family. His grave is at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific in Honolulu. I visited his grave. It looks just like the others there. So unless you happen to be a World War II buff and one who knows quite a bit more than most people, you would never know by looking at George Hutchison's Brave about his unique and selfless story. I'd like to invite people that like these stories to join the Storytelling and Researchers Corps. We call it Star Corps. And research and write some of these stories. There's more than 400,000 of the fallen who did not come back, like George Hutchison. And I think it, we would welcome joining me in this effort to write the stories of the fallen. And if you're not a researcher or writer, we also invite you to donate to support the effort to get this project done. And eventually, when all these stories are collected, we'll be able to go to a place like George Hutchison's gravestone in the Punch Bowl in Honolulu and scan his headstone with a smartphone and read his story. I think that would be great. To find out more, visit storiesbehindthestars.org. Thank you.